I don't know about you, but I would have loved to go into the Coca-Cola vault. And can you imagine what's actually tucked away inside Area 51? Some of the most exciting places on Earth are forbidden to the public, or specific groups. Natural disasters, war, gender, or simply religious beliefs can quickly turn any destination into a no-go zone. While we have covered a few of these places in the past, you might be surprised to find out which of them are unlikely to feature on your bucket list anytime soon. I'm Mike with List25, and in no particular order, here are 25 forbidden places you aren't allowed to visit. 25. Mecca, Saudi Arabia. Restricted to Muslims only. Mecca is one of the holiest sites in Islam, and plays host to millions of pilgrims every year. The Hajj pilgrimage is in fact obligatory for any able-bodied Muslim adult who has the resources to participate, and it's one of the religion's five pillars. That's why it's important to understand that Mecca is not a tourist attraction, nor is it a tourist city. Non-Muslims, particularly polytheists, are not allowed to enter, and vehicles and foreign nationals attempting to do so may be checked at random. You could also be tested if they suspect you're not Muslim. So while non-Muslims do get in occasionally, it's extremely disrespectful, and they're usually arrested and fined. 24. The Iron Mountain Vault, USA Located in Germantown, New York, the Iron Mountain Vault is a for-profit underground record storage facility serving customers worldwide. The vault was created in an abandoned mine that had been used as a mushroom farm before being converted into the world's largest subterranean records vault. Today, there are no trespassing signs all around the complex's perimeter, and it's impossible to enter without two forms of ID and special clearance. The bunker, which is seven layers deep and buried a quarter mile into the mountain, is blocked by a 28-ton triple-time-locked door. Bill Gates is storing items in this vault, too, so there might be something the rest of us still need to find out. 23. Ise Grand Shrine, Japan Japan's most sacred shrine is the Ise Grand Shrine, which is actually a series of over 100 shrines. It has existed since 4 BCE and is dedicated to Amaterasu, the sun goddess. The main shrine is said to house the most important item in Japanese imperial history, the Naiku. Following the Shinto concept of death and rebirth, the shrine is destroyed and rebuilt every two decades. The next rebuilding will actually take place in 2033. The Ise Grand Shrine is definitely very high on the list of places you are unlikely to see in your lifetime because only a priest or priestess may enter, and he or she must be a member of the Japanese royal family. So unless there's a Japanese prince or princess among our viewers, I doubt any of us will ever see anything more than the shrine's thatched roof. 22. Bank of England Vaults, UK If you're looking for one of the highest concentrations of gold in the world, you might want to consider the Bank of England vaults. Lying deep beneath London's busy streets, the vault holds hundreds of thousands of gold bars, banknotes, historical treasures, and precious metals, totaling a mind-boggling 194 billion pounds. You know, give or take a few. All right, just indulge me for a second and try to picture 400,000 gold bars neatly stacked on top of one another. It's like having 46 Eiffel Towers made of gold. That is insane. As you might have guessed, the security is no joke and includes checkpoints, highly trained guards, and cutting edge technology like seismic sensors and pressure sensitive floors. Oh, uh, access? Strictly VIP only. There are no public tours, just authorized personnel, and the big wigs get the golden ticket. 21. Mezhgorye, Russia. Mezhgorye is a closed Russian town that's believed to be home to the people working on the highly classified Mount Yamantau. The town is off limits to everyone, including Russian citizens, and only those with permits may enter. Mount Yamantau is the highest mountain in the southern Urals, at 5,381 feet, or 1,640 meters. The U.S. suspects that the site is actually home to one of Russia's secret nuclear facilities, or bunkers. Two military installations, Belarusk 15 and Belarusk 16, were also erected on top of the facility. Repeated U.S. inquiries about Mount Yamantau have ended in mixed comments from the Russian government, and answers have included a repository for Russian treasures, a mining site, a food storage area, and a nuclear war bunker for leaders. I don't know about you, but those military installations are kind of giving it away, Russia. 20. 
The UN Buffer Zone, Cyprus. Turkish soldiers occupied the island of Cyprus on July 20th, 1974, and effectively split the island in half. Since then, Cyprus has been divided into two parts. The Turkish Republic of Northern Cyprus, in the, you know, north, and the Republic of Cyprus in the south. The international community sees Northern Cyprus as Turkish-occupied territory, and the Turkish forces continue to maintain a sizable presence on the island. The line that separates the two regions is the United Nations Buffer Zone, which runs directly through Nicosia and the rest of the island. Within the Buffer Zone are several villages, or designated areas called Civil Use Areas, where well over 10,000 people live and or work. Civilians have unrestricted access to these areas. However, anywhere else in the Buffer Zone calls for specific permission from UNFICYP. 19. Niihau Island, USA Niihau is also known as the Forbidden Island, because the family that's owned it since 1864 decided to keep outsiders away from its pristine shores. The Hawaiian island, located 18 miles or 29 kilometers northwest of Kauai, is 72 square miles, or 186 square kilometers, of flawless paradise, and home to a lot of critically endangered species. Only the Robinson family and approximately 130 native Nihuans from the village of Puhuai live here. The owners are inundated with requests from people who say seeing the 1,200-foot cliffs on the island is their last dying wish. They're usually refused. 18. Vatican Secret Archives, Vatican City. There is no shortage of conspiracy theories involving the Catholic Church. After all, Dan Brown made a career out of it. One of the most popular recurring themes is that if the public could only gain access to the Vatican Secret Archives, all of the Church's mysteries would be revealed. Of course, Catholic officials say there's nothing secret going on in the centuries-old labyrinthian vault, and what's inside isn't so much secret as it is private. Nonetheless, the Pontifical Swiss Guard guards the archive 24 hours a day, and it's claimed to have enormous storage areas and over 50 miles of shelving covered with documents stretching back as far as the 8th century. Scholars can only access the archives after they turn 75. Once authorized, they may enter the vault through a specific entry point guarded by the Swiss Guard, where they can view up to three pre-requested documents per day. That is it. Surprisingly, there's even an urban legend circulating in some Mormon circles that the Vatican vaults contain some missing Bible books that prove the Mormon religion is true. 17. Montserrat's Exclusion Zone, Caribbean We've all heard about Pompeii the ancient city buried beneath the ashen lava from the 79 CE eruption of Mount Vesuvius. However, it's been less than three decades since a Caribbean or Caribbean island once enjoyed by the affluent and famous met a similar fate. A modern-day Pompeii, Plymouth was once the capital of Montserrat. Its 12,000 residents had to evacuate after several volcanic eruptions buried it under 40 feet of ash and lava. Today, Plymouth is a ghost town and part of a restricted area. 16. Original Church of St. Mary of Zion Axum, Ethiopia Did you know that Ethiopia claims to shelter the Ark of the Covenant? It's kept inside a church in the heart of Aksum that's so secure that even Indiana Jones doesn't stand a chance of getting in. The monks who guard the treasure were actually trained to take lives using nothing but their hands. According to some accounts, only the monk designated as guardian can see the Ark. And once appointed, he's not permitted to leave the church grounds for the rest of his life. Because of the secrecy and guarded location, archaeologists have been unsuccessful in confirming the Ark's authenticity. According to a British historian who claims to have seen it during World War II, it's a medieval-era replica, but without proper testing, we'll probably never learn the truth. 15. Diego Garcia, British Overseas Territory, UK What's more fun than CIA dark sites? <laughs> Diego Garcia can be found in the Indian Ocean. It's an island that simply radiates mystery and conspiracy. In the late 60s and early 70s, the US and British governments relocated the locals to other islands in order to establish an American base. The island, which is now completely off limits, has been linked to several top secret programs. If the rumors are to be believed, the CIA used Diego Garcia as a secret prison, and they did so with the help of their allies, including the UK. British Foreign Secretary Jack Straw categorically denied the UK's participation in such a program in 2005. 
However, three years later, the government admitted that two CIA flights indeed landed on the island, but that critical evidence around their cargo and so forth had been lost due to water damage. 14. Morgan Island, USA Morgan Island is tucked away in the peaceful St. Helena Sound, just off the coast of South Carolina. It spans over 2,000 acres of pristine land and is home to over 4,000 monkeys, earning the island the moniker of Monkey Island, also a fantastic game series. Not, not based there. In 1979, about 1,400 rhesus monkeys were brought to the island for research purposes as the U.S. government wanted to create a self-sufficient breeding program after India stopped exporting research animals. Morgan Island was the perfect fit. Luckily, times have changed, and today the island has a special rule. No humans allowed. It's not just frowned upon, it is against the law to set foot on the island. Why? Well, we wouldn't want to disrupt the thriving monkey community, would we? 13. North Brother Island, USA North Brother Island on New York's East River became the setting of a hospital for patients with infectious diseases in the late 19th century. Its most famous patient was... Typhoid Mary, the first known asymptomatic carrier of the bacterium that caused typhoid fever. While working as a cook in the early 1900s, Mary Mallon unknowingly made dozens of people sick. She was quarantined on North Brother Island for three years following the first outbreak she triggered, and once she was released, she returned to preparing meals and infected even more people. Mary was returned to the hospital against her will in 1915 and remained there until her death in 1938. Today, the deserted island is a bird sanctuary and strictly off limits to the public. However, exceptions can be made if someone has, quote, compelling academic and scientific reasons to visit. And if you enjoyed that item, stick around for number two on today's list, because there were more than one plagued island and their histories are horrific. 12. The Mormon Vault, USA. How do you safeguard your church's secrets? A giant rock inside Little Cottonwood Canyon, Utah, houses the Mormon Vault, owned by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. This vault is no ordinary storage space, though. It's built to withstand a nuclear blast, with steel doors that seal even tighter on impact. There are a few offices inside, but they're off-limits to the public and church members. Many believe the vault safeguards controversial historical documents, so much so that some critics have even suggested that the church keeps them a secret to protect its image or avoid challenges to its legitimacy. However, church leaders say it's nothing more than old-school microfilm and microfiche being carefully converted to digital media. They're so open about it that there's even a behind-the-scenes video tour on YouTube. Mystery or not, the Mormon Vault is off-limits to the public. 11. Doomsday Vault, Norway The Svalbard Seed Vault, located more than 320 feet into a mountain between the North Pole and Norway, houses an enormous inventory of seeds in a vault constructed to withstand every kind of global disaster. Should something terrible happen, the hundreds of thousands of stored seed samples that came from every corner of the globe would ensure a continued and stable food supply. The vault is only opened a couple of times every year, and even then, only a select group of people are allowed to go inside to ensure the products are safely stored and tucked away. And yet, Despite all our best efforts, climate change may still throw a wrench into the works. In 2017, melted permafrost made its way into the vault, but luckily didn't get close to any of the stored seeds. 10. Zune Rouge, France In France, not all landscapes are picturesque green hills and charming villages. Near Verda, there is a forbidden area, the Zune Rouge, red zone, a deserted virgin forest that has been off-limits for almost a century. The region, once farmland, transformed during World War I with relentless artillery fire. The region, once farmland, transformed during World War I with relentless artillery fire, leaving the land ravaged. After the war, the French government relocated villagers instead of rehabilitating the area. 460 square miles of Zoom Rouge remains strictly off-limits to the public access and agricultural use today. Efforts are underway to clear the land, but at the current pace, completion could take three to 700 years, or may never happen. Nine, Lascaux Cave, France. In the 1940s, a teenager discovered a cave in Dordogne adorned with over 2,000 prehistoric paintings. However, after opening to the public in 1948, the influx of visitors began to deteriorate the artwork. 
To preserve the site, the cave was closed, and an exact replica was built nearby for tourists to enjoy. This replicated cave, now listed on UNESCO's World Heritage List, showcases mainly animal paintings from the Upper Paleolithic period, dating back to around 17,000 BCE. 8. Jiangsu National Security Education Museum, China The spy museum in Nanjing is closed to foreigners, as the Chinese government doesn't want their gadgets to be, you know, revealed. Currently, only Chinese visitors are permitted to access Jiangsu National Security Education Museum, a museum that documents China's espionage practices and exhibits spy gadgetry starting from the 1920s. There is also no photography allowed inside the building, even if you own one of their cute little miniature spy cameras on display. In this day and age of ghost net and high-tech cyber espionage, it all seems rather outdated. I mean, if you want to keep it a secret, why open a public museum in the first place? 7. Room 39, North Korea North Korea is already an extremely secretive country, so naturally, not a lot is known about its most secretive organizations. One of them goes by the name of Room 39, or Bureau 39. The primary purpose of Room 39's existence is to secure foreign currency for the chairman of the National Defense Commission, Kim Jong-un. Though details about Room 39 are hard to find, it's widely believed to operate via bank accounts situated in both China and Switzerland, engaging in activities such as money laundering, counterfeiting, as well as other illicit activities. There are even allegations of involvement in illegal weapon sales and drug smuggling. Yet, despite the widespread speculations, North Korea constantly denies any involvement in illegal activities. <laughs> sure. The true location of Room 39 is unknown, but it's speculated to be located in the capital city of North Korea, Pyongyang, within a Workers' Party building. I'll tell you what, I'll try to throw... I'll give you a link. I have some... It's not Pyongyang, but I have some footage I took of North Korea. <laughs> 6. Mauritania, Mali, Border Region while some places are off-limits due to their secretive nature, others are sadly off-limits due to their very public conflicts and terrorist activities. Mauritania and Mali share a border that's been declared unsafe due to the continued presence of extremist groups and other ongoing security concerns. More specifically, the areas around Ouagadou and the Gringale Forest have been declared strictly off-limits for civilian travel because of ongoing military operations in the area. The ban came into place after travelers on their way to Mali disappeared soon after a border incident, and they haven't been found since. 5. Coca-Cola Vault, USA Atlanta, Georgia hosts the World of Coca-Cola Museum, featuring a multi-million dollar vault believed to house Coke's secret formula. While the exterior is accessible to the public, I should know, I've been there, the interior is strictly reserved for the company's top executives. Though the vault is likely a clever publicity move, the formula inside appears to be a genuine handwritten recipe dating back to at least the 1920s. Despite the mystique, it turns out Coke's secret formula might not be as confidential as it seems. In 1979, This American Life published an unidentified pharmacist's recipe for Coke. Coca-Cola, of course, disputes that this is the same formula that they have locked away. 4. Albatross Island, Australia Albatross Island is home to one of the world's largest flying birds, the albatross, constituting almost 40% of their population. The island is strictly off limits to visitors, and the reason behind it is fascinating. It's a precautionary measure, ensuring the well-being not only of the albatross, but also of a diverse community, including penguins, shearwaters, silvery gulls, Australian fur seals, and Tasmanian skinks. It's a type of lizard, it's not a slip of the tongue. <laughs> Imagine it as a secret paradise where nature takes the lead and the island's lively residents can flourish without any disruptions. 3. Area 51, USA Well, it wouldn't be a list of forbidden places unless Area 51 was included. In fact, the US government refused to acknowledge the existence of Area 51 until 2013. For many years, conspiracy theorists have been intrigued by this US Air Force facility because the base's purpose remains unknown. Theories about it range from reverse engineering captured alien craft to testing exotic weapons and technologies. The site is so restricted that tourists and UFO hunters can only come within a certain, reasonably large, distance before military personnel take action. 
Despite the lack of clarity about what happens at the mysterious location, there have been a few recent indications that Area 51 is still in use. Just another non-existing terminal, or Janet Airlines, was looking for airline crew members who qualified for top secret government clearance in order to fly US government employees between Las Vegas and Area 51 as recently as 2018. Two, Pavelia Island, Italy. The ghastly history surrounding Pavelia Island in Venice ought to repel anyone, but ghost hunters continue to make trips at their own risk. From 1793 to 1814, the island served as a quarantine station for plague victims. Because an estimated 160,000 people perished on the island over the years, it's no surprise that there are stories of hauntings. In fact, the soil is partially composed of human remains. But the horrors don't stop there. In 1922, Pavelia also played host to a mental hospital. According to legend, one of the doctors engaged in dubious practices, which led to further lost lives. The hospital closed in 1968, and only the ruins of the discarded buildings remain today. The off-limits island is heavily guarded to this day, and anyone caught trespassing illegally risks arrest. 1. Mount Athos, Greece If you're eyeing a trip to Mount Athos, don't be a woman. Every day, the welcome mat is rolled out for 100 Orthodox and 10 non-Orthodox male pilgrims, giving them the thumbs up for a comfy three-night stay in one of the 20 monasteries scattered around. Women, unfortunately, aren't on the guest list. Yep, there are no permits for the gals whatsoever. In this day and age, you might be wondering about the gender gap. Well, Mount Athos has been running a No Women Allowed show for over a thousand years, and they are serious about it. There's even a designated no-go zone for women that extends 500 meters from the coast. So, have you ever been somewhere that you weren't supposed to be? Let us know in the comments below. Also, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and check out our social medias, including my personal ones. Links in the description below. You can even see footage, if, it's not, if it didn't make it in this video, you can even see footage of me filming into North Korea. I was in the DMC. And if you enjoyed today's list, you'll love the list we did a while ago on the 25 most dangerous places on Earth, where we discussed, among other things, another forbidden island named Snake Island, and look at some of the most hostile places on Earth. So to go to that list now, because it's not forbidden for you to watch that list, click it here. It's right here. You won't regret it, because you, you can't go to those places, or actually in that list, you shouldn't go to those places, but you can, you can look at them. Maybe they're pretty. Maybe you love snakes, but you can't go to that island. Click it. It's right here. Again, not forbidden.